Good evening, students. Uh, we have Dr. Omkar Deshpande with us. Uh, you attended first class from Omkar Deshpande. The link of that class is in video description. The idea of that class was to help you understand how we are going to approach uh, understanding physics from the perspective of developing the fun of learning physics. Now, uh, what are going to be the next steps moving forward? Uh, we will discuss with uh, uh, Omkar and uh, hopefully you will have an idea where we are going uh, with this. Uh, what are we going to do uh, moving forward? What is going to be the frequency of classes? So, Omkar, uh, based on uh, the first class, uh, where are we and uh, where do we plan to be moving forward? Yeah, so in the first class, uh, you know, I gave them a broad introduction to what physics is and then we got started uh, our journey of uh, building out our knowledge of uh, physics, specifically mechanics from scratch. We talked about a flat earth cosmology. So we will continue that thread uh, in future classes uh, once a week. Uh, but in addition to that, uh, we are also planning um, to have an additional class every week uh, where we pick a few problems uh, um, generally related to mathematics, mathematics that applies uh, to physics uh, so that students are also uh, comfortable with the math that will be needed as they continue learning about physics. So I know yeah. that some students have, um, 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 they, they might have taken math in 11th and 12th, but my understanding is that most of them have not. And uh, they might be rusty on, there might be a few topics in 9th and 10th grade match, math, which they might be, which most kids might be rusty on. So if there are any such topics, I would request students to, you know, convey that to us so that we can take topics that uh, they find the hardest to understand and uh, cover problems, real world problems related to them so that they don't feel like those the, the math in those topics is totally abstract, but it connects to something in the real world. Very good. So uh, let me just share the screen. So this is what Omkar I understood from you. Uh, after our first class where we have laid the expectation in terms of how we are going to study and what are we going to do in these lectures. Uh, moving forward, uh, we are, uh, if, if we can put the roadmap in terms of five bullet points, we are going to do uh, in the next lecture, Aristotle's physics and geocentric uh, spherical earth model of the universe. Then we jump 1400 to 1500 years into Galileo's astronomy and its famous trial. And then uh, we come very close to what is there in your uh, in your coursework, in your uh, textbooks. Class 9 students uh, uh, start reading motion and force. You would start getting some feel of it here. Class 11 students have been doing it. Class 12 students hope that it is a good revision for, for mechanics and developing uh, interest in physics. And then class 4 and 5, uh, or rather 4th and 5th topics here are uh, calculus and vector. These are uh, these are vast things over. So uh, uh, just to be sure, what Omkar said was, we are going to have a class on Sunday at 10 a.m., which is going to be a bigger class, two to three hours, like the first one, in which we are going to cover these these important topics, which are in some kind of a chronological order in terms of how humans have start uh, have developed understanding of the nature around them, which is which is what we are trying to understand in physics before we get into the nitty gritties of some formula and uh, solving problems. Uh, so these are uh, things which we are going to cover on Sunday morning at 10 a.m. And on Wednesday night at 9 p.m., we are going to specifically discuss some things around math which you uh, can apply uh, to physics. Uh, Omkar, uh, how much time for and how many lectures for uh, each of these uh, each of these topics, five topics that we have captured here? So for the first two topics, I am anticipating around three hours each. So uh, total of six hours. Two lectures. Uh, and so it might be two lectures. It could be three lectures, depending on how fast we go and how many questions students have. Uh, for the third topic, Galileo's mechanics, that's where we start overlapping with the uh, NCRT syllabus, yeah. uh, right? The chapters on 1D and 2D motion. So those are going to require uh, multiple classes uh, you know, for each chapter. Sure. So uh, maybe three or four classes there. So uh, 
uh, between 1D and 2D kinematics. So, uh, so that that's how much around seven classes, six to seven classes so far, and then calculus and vectors uh, um, would be something that we uh, uh, that that requires at least a month, a uh, month to a month and a half. So one option is that we have uh, um, uh, calculus and vectors covered in both of the classes that we have during the week. Right, so that would be one way to uh, go faster in this. We solve some problems uh, yep. in the Wednesday class, and we cover uh, more of the theory in the Sunday class. So uh, overall, we are looking at around two to three months, I would say. Yeah, uh, two to three months, and uh, between eight to twelve classes, uh, or rather, uh, I would say seven to ten uh, classes. That that is what we are looking at, guys. Uh, of the bigger classes. And on top of that, uh, there are smaller classes on uh, Wednesday night. So uh, this is the plan. Just to summarize what we are saying, this is what we are going to cover. This is how uh, slowly it is going to start reaching closer to what you are studying in your school or as part of your preparation for competitive exams like NEET and JE. Uh, this is what, uh, what we aspire to achieve in terms of helping you understand the topics. Uh, this is what um, uh, Dr. Umka Deshpande is going to cover. We will have these classes, the biggish classes, around 2.5 to 3 hours on Sunday morning at 10 a.m. Please plan accordingly. On Wednesday night at 9 p.m., we will have specific classes in terms of specific mathematical tools, if you will, which uh, Umkar would cover, which would help you develop or uh, rather uh, help you feel comfortable with some of the things that that you require in uh, doing problems in physics. So this is pretty much it. Uh, Umkar, uh, any particular uh, final thing you want to say? I think our next class is going to be Wednesday night. What are we going to uh, cover on Wednesday night, Umkar? So like I said, uh, uh, it makes sense to take up uh, specific topics from mathematics uh, and cover problems on them. So uh, uh, we might cover, say, a topic like angles right in in the context of circular motion uh, why is it that we switch from degrees uh, to radians right a completely new, new unit um, in you know when we do physics and calculus um, we can also uh, you know take up any specific subtopics that students commonly have difficulty with so i would say Perhaps, uh, they are very uh, they find uh, graphical representations difficult right yeah, so yeah. we can we can uh, help them understand, get some feel of uh, how to convert graphs with uh, a VT graph into an AT graph, or even how to deal with a VX graph, if you will, right? So yeah, can... yeah, yeah. So those are uh, of course uh, uh, topics that we can naturally take up when we discuss one D kinematics, two D kinematics, and calculus and vectors. You know, these are you know huge topics, as you know, these are like year long courses actually at universities so obviously we'll be very selective in what we cover only cover the bare minimum that's required for an understanding of uh, class 11 physics so if students uh, do want additional topics or if they want clarifications on what we cover uh, then i would just encourage them to send you feedback so that when we see that uh, you know there's a lot of demand for a specific subtopic then uh, we could just add that to the list of uh, topics that we cover in these problem sessions. Perfect. So that's pretty much it, guys. Uh, the way to reach out to us, uh, if you want to communicate something to us in terms of what specific things you struggle with or what you would like us to cover, what you need to do is you can write in any of the videos on Neat Prep YouTube channel. You can write uh, in the video which, which we have uploaded on YouTube channel. You can also write to me directly on Telegram on my Telegram ID at the rate KG Need Prep. Again, uh, my Telegram ID at the rate KG Need Prep. If you're not able to understand what is at the rate KG Need Prep, that is also written in the description of this video. So thank you so much, Omkar. Uh, looking forward to seeing you again with students on Wednesday night at 9 p.m. Thank you.